Hi and welcome to the video. Uh, this is the first video of a series uh, called Home Networking Explained where I attempt to explain the, the basics of home networking. And we're going to start this, this series by looking at uh, connecting to the internet. So how do you connect your home network to the internet? Because in reality the main reason for having a home network is to connect to the internet to access internet services like uh, Netflix, YouTube, uh, email, etc. So the first thing you'll need is uh, an internet service provider. Now there are three main types of internet service provider. There's the old telecom providers uh, in the UK, that's BT America, it's AT&T. Uh, the, these are the providers of the, uh, the old telephone network. Um, the cable TV providers and then there's the mobile operators and there are two uh, main access methods. There's the fixed, which is basically the cable method, and there's the mobile, which is via the uh, mobile uh, phone companies. Here are the technologies that are, that are used to actually access the internet. There's the old ADSL, um, which is basically copper to the telephone exchange. Um, then that was really replaced by VDSL, which is a, a mixture of fiber plus copper, and I've got a little diagram coming up to uh, illustrate that and then there's full fiber and then there's the cable cable fire cable TV this is coax cable and then there's the mobile um, 3g which has been phased out in the UK 4g uh, and then 5g which is the the next generation and lastly this is a new one and uh, there's a satellite via which is uh, Starlink Elon Musk Starlink and this is really uh, targeted for more rural rural areas, uh, areas that don't actually have uh, any of the other types of access. Okay, um, this is just a little diagram to help you understand uh, the way you do actually connect to the internet. Now, the original telephone network, your, your home was connected to the telephone exchange via the cable, uh, telephone cable. Now, that telephone cable was then used to provide uh, internet access originally via modems if anyone remembers those and then via ADSL which was basically another modem but high, higher speed uh, but provided permanent access to the internet and that has re been replaced by fiber and there's two types of fiber so if you're wondering why when you go to uh, your provider and they offer different speeds and they probably ask you to put in an area code um, to find out what you can actually get there. It's because there's full fiber um, which off offers the higher speed and then there's fiber to the curb and this is the actual fiber to the curb uh, diagram. In the UK there's a green cabinet somewhere in the street and the fiber goes from the ISP office into the green cabinet and the last stretch of the, the run is using the old copper telephone cable and that uses the technology called VDSL which we saw earlier on in the uh, earlier slide so you've got the last bit of it which is which is copper which makes this connection slower than the actual full fiber uh, oftentimes much slower depending on how far you are from one of those in the UK one of those green, green cabinets and obviously if you have full fiber then the fiber goes from the ISP office right into your to your home and uh, because of the the growth of, of working from home um, we've got now backup internet so which is basically a mixture of fixed plus mobile so you have uh, a fiber connection for the for main connection or a mixture of uh, VDSL for the main connection and you back it up with a mobile connection then you'll find lots of ISPs now offering this uh, type of thing as a package and just to finish off, just a, a few examples here on, on the BT site, and you can see here that they want me to put in a postcode um, to have a look at the broadband deals, and that's because, as I said before, you get different speeds de depending on, on your, lo your location uh, because of the, the fact that you can't get uh, full fiber in lots of locations. And if you're interested in the Starlink, uh, here is the Starlink uh, website and you can actually look at the coverage area of Starlink. Uh, difficult to find the actual prices um, 
here we go, there's the UK price list. So that's all for this video. Uh, if you like the video, then click the like button. If you want to get notified of new videos, then you can always subscribe to the channel. And let's say if you've got any comments, then leave them in the comments below. Until next time, bye bye.